I had been picked to go to, mid, to the back to Yorktown uh, because she had a CXAM tr transmitter. She had a radar uh, set, one of the relatively few in the fleet at that time. And I wanted more than anything else to get to sea at that time on the uh, Yorktown. So I took, uh, took passage after completing the course at MIT in, in ultra-high frequency techniques, or radar, as it was described in its unclassified version, and uh, uh, got out to Pearl and was assigned, while waiting the arrival of Yorktown, I was assigned to be assistant to the, uh, to the flag lieutenant, which means a, a gopher. So, uh, <clears throat> but I read the mail and I found out one afternoon that the Yorktown was coming in from this Coral Sea and that she had been damaged and would take some time to repair, to set up. Uh, they requested that the blocks be set up in dry dock number, whatever it was, and be prepared to start repair work. So I knew that the Yorktown had been at sea 105 days and I figured, well, the next time she's gonna be back in when I could catch it would be another 105 days more. I knew nothing, of course, what was impending. Uh, and, uh, but I kept track of the second night I went down to the officers club and, and grabbed a hold of one of my classmates, Ray Smith, and asked him, please tell me when the Yorktown was going back to sea. Well, he knew very well that discussing ship, ship's movements at that time in that context was uh, court martial material. And all he said this evening was, if I were you, Red, is I'd be aboard before, be, uh, before midnight. Now here it was, six o'clock, and what can I do with that? Uh, Captain Bryan, had, Lieutenant Bryan, had gone back in town when I talked to him over, over the phone. He said he didn't have the, couldn't, couldn't come in and detach me. So I figured I'd get it done some way or another. So I went up to the duty officer and he said he couldn't detach me, but he said he could, ta he could uh, uh, have the yeoman type a, a, uh, a detachment endorsement on the language, but I'd have to go up and see the chief of staff to the admiral. And I said, where's he? He said, up on Admiral's Row. So I jumped in my Jeep and went up and uh, knocked at the door and the Duan boy came to the door and said, I said, I'd like to see the uh, Captain Stevens. And so he said, he in movies. I said, please get him out. Well, when the captain came through and saw my two illustrious gold bars, growled at me, what do you want? And I said, sir, I'd like to go to sea. And I handed out my orders to him in a fountain pen. So we, and he said, he started to abrade. He said, do you mean to say that you got me out of the movies? Because you want to go to sea? And I started to explain, I, and he didn't want it. And he just kept repeating the question and getting madder and madder. And then he looked at the bars and he said, and they gave him another chance. He said, where did you go to school? And I told him I went to the Naval Academy. Well, that gave him a chance to unload on his views of uh, being a graduate of the Naval Academy, which not all, not all that commendable at that time in his view. Uh, finally, he started running around the place in the room, and I started chasing him with my orders and the pen. And finally, he grabbed him and signed him. But he said, Crawford, let me tell you, you keep doing business this way in the Navy, and you're headed for trouble. Okay. Scroll forward for a few days now, and I'm coming back into Pearl, ship having been sunk, and coming back in on the Fulton. And everybody's lined up there, Nimitz and all the on road. And there is the chief of staff. I didn't get back to him. So I went, followed down. I followed him back to his office in the administrator, and I went back, got permission to go in and see him. I said, well, Captain, you are absolutely right. I was headed for trouble, but neither you or I thought it was going to come as quickly as it did. Okay, that's on the, that's on the, that's a short version of, <laughs> of, a, of a very memorable event, but a very important one of mine. If you don't make them, if you got orders to do something, go do it.